Hello everybody and welcome here to the release of my 2022 Pro Car for ESCA and other competitions for this season. If you guys have a guest from the beginning, little cinematic intro clips. It is a M4 G82 Competition Edition. I do have both of them sitting here where the car started to what it is now. Just going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on it to give you guys a little look at, you know, what was involved in getting this car to this drift spec that is over here the beautiful drift spec now it does have a duck bill on it now it didn't have that wing on there in the cinematic clips and everything like that but it does have a wing on it now so first we're going to take a look at the base model which is just a factory m4 competition which was a very very awesome model um we'll leave all the description on where it was from in the description box below but as you see it had a full built interior and you know i actually got to see one of these colored interiors in person somebody ordered m4 with that coloring and it's actually not bad takes me back to the fast and furious you know days with all the trim colors and everything like that like i used to do and you know need for speed underground 2 and all that kind of stuff so the m4 competition as you can see went through a very big styling change to my comp car as you first can notice you know off the rip you know we have a full rear mount radiator setup with a uh, rear window deleted with the ducking into that cnr radiator you know we of course have the goalie fans like all my comp cars have had but they are this acid blue color the car went through a full tear down in the rear full tubed out took out the trunk and everything in the rear to make that entire setup down there with the diff nos bottle and fuel cells and everything like that and the full wide fab suspension in the rear so it was something that took a lot of work to take everything out of this the back seats the windows and everything like that to get it to basically this and of course you know when you have a full drift comp car you have full back end set up with bash bars and stuff like that so that i can go in and crinkle in the bumper a little bit and obviously the most aggressive thing is those beautiful rotiforms wrapped on nano tires and definitely some big old meaty tires in the rear of this car and deep dish wheels in the rear so when it comes to the interior of the car we completely stripped out everything completely from the dash all the door panels and everything like that and as you can see we put in a full carbon fiber dash setup aem gauge clusters did a full door deletes with carbon fiber door skins with anti-intrusion bars and things of that nature a firewall back there to get all of that blocked off from the driver's cell like an actual comp car would be and of course the energy innovation seats which you know i'm sitting in right now so it was definitely a very big change converting this interior i learned a lot when i was building this on how to do like these door cards and stuff like that because i didn't know how to do the door card so you could see through the doors when i first started with this and now we have a very very beautifully set up interior um we'll go take a look at the full interior and pan around it and everything like that we did keep the motor and everything in there because this car is rocking the stock bmw motor but it is boosted to high hell and we do have exhaust dumps out the hood which belch fire and just all through the window and everything it's just crazy to see you guys saw it in some of the clips and things like that but one of the most noticeable changes is the kidney grill setup so the factory kidney grills on the m4 i'm not a big fan of they're growing on me seeing them in person but getting rid of all of that and adding the gt3 style uh kidney grills with the crossbar and everything with crossbar behind that crossbar is actually a full roll bar roll cage bars and everything like that with you know protecting that intercool and everything like that so that was one styling change that i wanted to really do because uh if you're looking at this right now this is such of an aggressive look compared to you know just the vein kidney grills and stuff like that so we're going to see if i can I think it's f1 yes there we go oh no f1 again too many f1s so we are inside you know in the interior as you can see the carbon fiber door cars with course energy innovations and my evil rabbit logo we got our you know 
ignition master cylinders and everything down there we have our button plates which all are activated with the lights and our switch box and everything and our g innovation steering wheel carbon fiber dash so it's definitely went through a full interior change because the other car's interior is well a basically a stock interior this um showroom i'm using likes to uh blur when you're not moving if you've noticed so it's definitely very exciting to have this car up and running now and getting back to you know drifting in competition so this was something i've been working on behind the scenes for a very long time with help from addy and some other people um with some of the modelings that i had to learn but addy of course with some of the data the engine work and everything like that and testing and tuning and you know helping me figure out lighting extensions and all that so can't thank you know addy and everybody that helped me you know develop the car and keep me on track with this car because i was bouncing around for so long with so many different cars i wasn't sure what i was going to do but i'm glad that i kept on track with this car because it's definitely turned out to be amazing looking and one of a kind because you know like i said with having to do all the interior work and change everything from this factory car it took a lot of work to get it to what it is and i'm you know not the greatest of modelers yet but i think this car just shows a testament to you know the time that i took to make this car and make it one of a kind now a lot of you guys did get it right and knew it was an m4 and knew it was a g82 and especially when i said it, it's a big girl this car is a addy's a90 stops here my old s15 stops here so this car has a whole good probably three feet more two feet four in the rear that i have to start learning and adapting to the back bumper so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little release we're gonna be doing a lot of testing with this car a lot of driving with some new friends new people that i'm bringing on and working with so there's a lot of things going to be happening with this especially with esda rulebook coming out here this month there may be some changes to this car but if anything gets changed i'll let you guys know and you guys will get a full update video on this if i need to adjust some things for the rules which i don't think i will because this is basically legal for vdc drift masters and esda last season so i can't see them changing it to the point where i would have to make a huge styling change but if you can see from stock to not this uh g82 is definitely a super aggressive car and it's uh, going to be so much fun to get some tandems and get it out there and get driving with a bunch of people so that I can finally dial in the grip and everything like that. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just follow the description box below. If you guys like this and you guys want to keep following this, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get all the notifications for the updates on this car. As well as I have a few cars that are going to be coming out public for you guys. Some competition build cars that I'm going to be releasing to you guys so that you guys can get a chance to drive some competition full comp style builds that i'm working on so like i said appreciate you guys coming back for another one. appreciate all the support happy new year to everyone let's make 2022 a good year 2021 done over with let's do it let's move on to 2022 so once again thank you guys for all the support in all the prior years 2022 is gonna be a great year so uh i hope you guys enjoy this and i'll see you guys on the track